All right, hey Shalom. Hey, real quick, I wanted to um, I wanted to add a couple of scriptures uh, to uh, the lesson that I I recently uploaded, which was called um, um, I, I believe I named it uh, "Vengeance is in the hand of the Lord" or um, "Vengeance belongs to the Lord," something of that nature. Uh, I had a couple more scriptures that was, that was on uh, the topic of vengeance that I wanted to get to, and I uh, I didn't have time to in the uh, previous lesson uh, so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump into them all right um first thing i want to grab uh more of kind of like a recap um that vengeance is uh the heavenly fathers man all right so one of the scriptures i'm gonna grab is also a scripture that was brought out uh yesterday when i recorded um uh i, I suppose the first segment of this um and that's uh, Romans chapter 12, uh, verse 19, okay? It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. All right, and in the video, the previous video, we went in uh, on Deuteronomy uh, chapter 32, uh, where it is written that vengeance is the, is the Lord's, man. All right, and uh, yesterday I was always um, in the... Like yeah, in the previous video, I was kind of harping upon the fact that um that uh, uh you know these people they they're gonna irritate you, they're gonna get on your nerves, they're gonna do uh, all kind of manners of evils towards you, um but that's not for you to turn around and um, uh, repay them back for that, man. All right, because you gotta allow uh, the Most High to, to do His thing, man. The Most High's judgment uh, to these people is gonna be far beyond what you can even imagine. You know, you got to think about that, all right? Your boss getting on your nerves, co-worker getting on your nerves, shit. Maybe even just random people on the streets, family members, you know, that don't want to get right, you know, so on and so forth. Maybe you got a scenario where it, it, somebody's really uh, uh, vexing your spirit, man. All you got to do is pray to the Heavenly Father and leave it into the hands of the Lord, man. And it may not happen right then and there. But you best believe the most I got something in store that's going to um, basically rock their world or, or turn their life um, upside down. All right. Um, I want to jump into uh, back into the Apocrypha uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. Um I want to grab two from here. I want to grab first um, uh, Sirach chapter 28. All right. Starting at the top. It says he that revengeth shall find vengeance from the Lord and he will surely keep his sins in remembrance you see that so uh we we just read it in Romans where it said you know uh, for you not to take it up in your hands but uh rather give that vengeance onto the give you know what I'm saying give it onto the Lord and right here it's telling you he that revengeth shall find vengeance from the Lord and he will surely keep his sins in remembrance man all right um and I touched on it yesterday in the last video that Look, all of us, all of us is um is uh is uh worthless, man. All of us down here, we're all worthy to be put down. You know, the Most High realistically doesn't have to do anything for any of us, man. All right. So uh, uh, if you have that kind of mentality, if you got that mindset, knowing that you're an unprofitable servant, that's gonna keep you in that humble degree to where you won't, you know, what I'm saying, uh, uh, be so quick to to turn the wrath or to um, uh, um. You know, uh, uh, wanna wanna match somebody's carnality with actual carnality. You know, uh, one of the things I was touching on last uh, yesterday in the last video was that you know we wrestle against uh, flesh. I'm sorry, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in, in high places, man. All right, verse two it says, "Forgive thy neighbor uh, the hurt that he have done unto thee, so shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest." One mayor beareth uh, hatred against another, and doeth he seek pardon from the Lord? And that's the point, man. All right? Hey, just just pray about it and leave it to the Heavenly Father, man. And and, and just basically get it off your conscience. Because you holding on to it, you having this grudge against this person, that ain't doing nothing but, but you know, sucking up uh, mental space for yourself, man. All right? Because that person, they going to continue to be wicked, man. That's their job. All right, they're going to continue uh, uh, doing the wrong that they've been doing, man. All right, so it's not our it's not our job to worry about that, man. The scripture says, uh, 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 roughly phrasing it, um, think not on uh, 
on how the ungodly shall be punished, but rather how the, the righteous men shall be saved, man. All right. It says, verse four, he showeth no mercy to a man which is like himself and doeth he asks forgiveness for his own sins. And that's the point, man. All right. You ain't got, hey, man, leave that judgment to the heavenly father. Let, let, let him do his job in, in passing out judgment, man. That's that's not that's not on you to, to decide who gets what judgment and when. Hey, that's all up to the heavenly father. We are spiritual men, man. We're not we're not carnal here. We are not a part of this world. This world wants to get physical and carnal. That's fine. You know, you can you can uh, have self defense. All you know that's that's fine. But hey, don't be out there just 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 starting stuff, man. You know, out there just wilding out on every any and everybody because you know the truth. You know, um, real quick, uh, another scripture in the book of Sirach. Uh, but we're gonna jump back to the sixteenth chapter. I'm sorry, uh, to the 12th chapter, all right, it says, this is Sirach, Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 12, verse 6, it says, for the most high hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment, you see, so the most high, it says, uh, give unto the good and help not the sinner, so the most high is the one that is going to um uh, uh deliver out that punishment man okay that's not on us to be taken into our own hands that's for the heavenly father hey but pretty much that was the point i wanted to uh bring these scriptures uh to the light as well to uh couple along um uh uh with uh how the vengeance is is truly uh the lord's and is in the hand of the heavenly father man okay so lord willing this was edifying uh along with um uh, the the video that was uh, 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 previously uploaded, um, the Lord willing, message was received. Again, the praise and the glory it goes on to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone uh, that are excellent examples of how we as Israelite men should be um, conducting ourselves. And also, uh, Shalom, salutations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. All right, until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.